What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we're about to get into Baddie's uh, reunion, the last episode. So, Baddie's reunion finale. And um, for those that don't know, I react to it, the full episode on the Patreon. Uh, for those that want to know why, you know, you have to charge for Patreon is because I'm giving y'all extended content. You know, I have to, I have to be clear on what's going on here because some people... Some people don't understand that. Um, Patreon is a platform where I react to copyrighted content. So that's music videos, um, Zeus preferably because I don't have to record the, the, the video to watch it. I can just go to their platform, watch the video. So you will see Crazy in Love on there, uh, Baddies, even Bad Boys when um, I think – when Bad Boys was out, I believe I was reacting to it. If not, my bad. I lied about that. But all the other stuff is on there, so make sure y'all tap in. Now, we're going to get into this reunion. First of all, I give y'all a breakdown of the hour, you know what I'm saying, of what went on, well, of the 45 minutes of what went on. And, you know, it started off... <laughs> it started off with Smiley telling Mariah Lynn she wanted her chain, Okay. Smiley had recently beat up her trailer earlier that day. And yes, she beat up her trailer. Biggie smacked the taste out her mouth, girl. She went in her trailer and gave her trailer the business. Now, for those that know, steel hurts bones, okay? So that trailer gave her the business back, and here we are. <laughs> so anyway, Smiley gets whooped by the trailer, going to go on the set to fight Mariah Lynn, gets... Ah, she ain't even get whooped by Mariah Lynn. That was the worst fight I've ever seen in fight history on Zeus, okay? Um, smiley hand already bleeding. Uh, Mariah falling backwards. Everybody else wanted to jump in. It was just a mess, okay? But anyway, so after that debacle, um, everybody wanted E.T. to come back out because they wanted to ask E.T. some questions, which... I completely disagree with because nobody really asked questions. But E.T. decided that she was going to come back out. <laughs> and she went in beautiful now, but she came back out looking like that. <laughs> she, <laughs> she came back in looking like that. Now, I told y'all, they had been shooting this for like 12 to 15 hours. So in, in the beginning, everybody was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? By the end of it, everybody looked like it was time for them to go to bed. Uh, aside from Nene and um, Lemon lemon Pepper Wife, okay? So, boom. She come back out. She ready to run a fade with whoever is ready to run a fade. So, she talking. They doing their thing. Sapphire throws water on her, and she want to fight, okay? Now, Sapphire, I ain't going to lie, she got beat up. The first round, she got beat up. Um, she even admitted to it, though. Um First, she was saying that she couldn't fight in them shoes, which I agree because they they had like a, um, I forgot what you call it, but it's, it's not a heel, but a, um, what it's called when you when you have a shoe and it's like elevated. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, she had on those shoes. She wanted to take them off. So, boom, she feels as though uh, Scarface snuck her, basically. Wedges. It was like a wedge on the shoe. She felt like Scarface snuck her or whatever, and she got the best of her. Pissed Suki off because Suki like, ain't no way my friend about to get beat up on national television and not get her one back again. Okay, so Suki was absolutely upset. Taseki still trying to fight um, Scarface as well, and when... <sighs> girl. I don't know why Taseki wanted to continue to fight her, because it was no reason. What was the reason? Look at Scarlett. <laughs> she telling her, you were scared. You know, the regular, regular, regular. So after that, <laughs> Scarface just ended up looking worse and worse and worse. Because I will not lie, Tesseki had already got the best of Scarface in the first place, right? So then, boom, Biggie is attempting to... Um, Biggie is attempting to talk to Scarface because she's trying to tell her, like, my brother didn't hit you. You lying. 
why you being mean to me? You a bully. Um, basically trying to sick Tesseki on to, um, to Scarface, basically, and girl, a mess. Anyway, at some point, Scarface was trying to tell Natalie why she felt like she was setting her up or whatever, which I absolutely disagree. I, Natalie may be a lot of things, but I just don't feel like she was trying to set her up. If anybody's trying to set her up, it was Lemon Pepper. OK, they love this fighting and that's what get them this coin. OK, so I just don't believe that Natalie was trying to set up, do anything to Scarface. So I feel like she blew a bag. Scarface blew her whole bag by going in there fighting Natalie. I just think that that was the dumbest decision she ever made. Natalie said that um, she was fired and she said that. Um, she never speaks about her. She don't care about her. None of that going about your business. And Scarface still didn't believe her. As you can see, Nene trying to get Scarface to understand, like, bro, clearly just because she's the leader of the group, which um, Scarface said, of course she tried to get me set up. She's the smartest one in here. Like, what does that have to do? What does smart have to do with getting people jumped? I never understand. But anyway, that's where we are with that. So Natalie says she is not trying to fight her. She said that um, she said that she isn't scared of her at all. She's just not about to fight her because um, she knows that she don't believe it or whatever. And that's what happened with that. So after that, like I told y'all, Biggie, girl, Biggie was trying to plead her case. And in the process of Biggie pleading her case, everybody wanted Biggie to shut the hell up, including me. Biggie was trying to let her know that, uh, you know, I wanted to be your friend, but you, I wanted to be your friend, but you trying to beat me up and, and I don't even fight. So you a bully. <sighs> Biggie was really in her feelings th this episode. And don't get me wrong. I love Biggie too. Biggie is cool. Um, I think Biggie has a big heart, but Biggie need to unbig that heart during these shows. Okay. Got to unbig her heart during these shows. There ain't no heart with these women. These niggas is vultures. Look at this. Look at this. A vulture. She was, all of them were just like, I don't know. <laughs> just like, bruh, I don't even want to use the analogies that I want to use because it would be animal related and it just gets bad. But I, somebody help her. Anyway, so that's what happened with that. They looking how I was looking the entire time. Mariah Lynn is trying to plead her case as far as, um, Basically saying that she didn't have no issues with um, E.T. and or anybody else. Then they tried to get them to say, you know, they last remarks or whatever. Roley was talking. <laughs> Roley said her last remarks and walked up out of there because Roley said she was tired. She wanted to get paid for fighting at that point. That's the first time I ever seen Roley just kind of quit. OK, she was tired of it. She left. Um, she insinuated that she checked Scarface. But Scarface said, basically, you didn't check me. You asked, you know, um, why did why did she put her paws on Natalie? And, you know, she was in the process of trying to figure out whose side to be on. And everybody peeped it. And I think that's why she was ready to go, to be honest with you. Um, that's why when when I fall out with people, you're going to have to choose your side. Because it, there is no in betwins. If you That's some Libra shit. Hey, I, if, you, if you took the shot, you should have. I feel like Libras do that. I feel like that's a Libra's favorite role to do is stay in between. And that's phony. It's phony. Like when you stay in between, somehow you end up talking about the other person. And instead of squashing it with the other person or having your friend squash whatever the issue is, you play both sides. Nah, they can fight. Or, uh, you know, you can't play both sides. Y'all ain't no such thing. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, to anybody that took a shot, I, you know, if you ain't that type, you ain't that type. I'm just saying it's some Libras that do do that. Okay? This is Scarface yet again. She was still going through the motions with fighting. Okay? Um, she wanted to run her one with Mariah. That foiled. She wanted to run her one with Anna Mac. Foiled. Um, and then she wanted to run her one with Sapphire again. 222 in the chat. That actually happened. Them, her and Sapphire actually did fight again. Um, by that time, Sapphire gave it a business. Okay. I feel like um, she basically 
she got her lick back, so to speak. I don't think it was the best fight in the world. Sapphire do look like she could fight, but it's hard when you got all these women around, everybody pulling wigs and all these big ass, you know, bolder niggas, you know, holding everybody back and picking them up. And it's just, it's so much. Um, none of them can really like fight but Tesseki, I feel like. Tesseki, you know how to use them hands. She ain't got to pull no hair. And she did her big one, and she wanted to do it over and over and over again on Scarface's face. Um, also, Tesseki insinuated that Scarface um, kissed her to wake her up one night. And I was absolutely disgusted because why are you waking me up like this? You know, and that's what Tesseki said. She was like, <clears throat> what are you doing? And she was like, I was just trying to wake you up. And she said that she wanted to be her up then, girl. But gay or not, don't kiss me, especially while I'm sleeping. What are you doing? Disgusted. Okay. So anyway, this is Scarface about to leave, child. She's trying to tell Natalie, um, because Natalie's trying to ask her why in the hell do you feel like I set you up still? And um, Scarface is basically saying, you know, you be talking a lot of trash, and I heard it from whoever's makeup artist, and it is what it is. Also, um, Natalie said that she was going to have a talk with her outside when it was over, basically to hold her in the parking lot because she wanted to speak to her. I think that Scarface did all this for um, storylines, to be honest with you, and she didn't care what she had to do to go to war with these hoes. However, I feel like she would have still had her job had she not put her hands on Natalie. Now, it is a possibility that she could come back well, I don't know, because after that, the Now That's TV's girls came and put put pause on Lemmy, which is the CEO. So maybe not. Um, but anyway, after that, Natalie basically threw Scotty up under the bus and told Scotty that that was her makeup artist and basically that they was going to get him beat up because um, he was running his mouth or whatever. And Scotty, like, don't put me in this. I don't understand why Natalie would throw Scotty up under the bus in that situation. But um, Scotty said that, yeah, he dressed me and um, me and Roly, but don't put me in it. Like, he, uh, he, don't, he, I don't own him, and I didn't tell him to do this or whatever. And girl, everybody gave their last remarks. Natalie basically was saying that everybody came out like grown women. She let it be known that Scarface was fired. Um, Everybody came out like grown women aside from Scarface. And girl, that's it. Okay. Um, I'm about to re react to Baddie's Caribbean trailer. And y'all, I react to all of these. Okay. All of them. So y'all just make sure y'all tap in. The link for the uh, Patreon will be in the pinned comment. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I have. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.